When I very first started off hemodialysis, I had a bad experience with a tick sticking me and giving me a bad stick. It caused problems that almost caused an infection in my, in my fistula. At that point, I realized this is my lifeline and I did not want other people to just stab at it, to just have at it. This is Mark Huntington with Empower Kidney Warriors. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate self cannulation. First, sterilize the arm, my big old monstrous fistula here. And um, of course, first, before you get on, wash your hands, wash your fistula well, and then sterilize the surface. Let it dry for just a, a minute before you go and cannulate. Now, one of the things I wanted to discuss is as far as cannulation, one of the things that keeps people from wanting to do dialysis at home is they're scared of the needles. And it's natural, it's intimidating, they're big needles. But when I very first started off hemodialysis, I had a bad experience with the tech sticking me and giving me a bad stick. It caused problems that almost caused an infection in my, in my fistula. At that point I realized this is my lifeline and I did not want other people to just stab at it, to just have at it. Not all techs are created equal, some are amazing and others are not so good. So I wanted to take control of that. I figured out one of the nurses told me there that you can learn to self cannulate. So I did it, I learned how to do it myself and I would never turn back. I would never let anybody else touch my fistula at this point because it is my lifeline. So here's how you do self cannulation. It's important to make sure you have a good angle on the needle uh, so that you don't have alarms, you don't have high pressure. The tricky part is getting the tape ready. Taping it correctly keeps it in place, like I said, so that it's secure during treatment, but also so that it doesn't press against the walls of the fistula and cause alarms from high pressure. Okay. Second needle in. All right, now that we're taped, make sure that the good pressure blood's flowing and you prime the line. So we really have to make sure, and actually I need to get my uh, bag underneath my, just a little safeguard so I don't bleed all over the towel. So we really have to make sure that it's primed and there's no air at the top so that when you stir the dialysis treatment, there's no air bubbles. Prime it really well, clamp it. Yeah. Sometimes you have to give it just a little way, like I said, make sure that it's primed well. The worst thing we can do is have air moments. Second clamp. All right. <clears throat> now. My beautiful wife and care partner, Ashley, is putting heparin in to the lions. And then she backs it out just a little bit to make sure that there's no air again. The heparin keeps the blood running and makes sure that I don't get any clots. The red line is the arterial line. That's the line that pulls the blood out of the body and through the dialyzer. That's the venous line. And clamped and clamped. 
The venous line is what takes the cleaned blood after it runs through the dialyzer and pulls it back through and pumps it back into my body. Now I got tape off. Make sure you tape securely so you don't have any issues during treatment. I actually go a little overboard with the tape there on my wrist so it doesn't slide off. And there you have it. So, now we start treatment. I've already programmed the amount of fluid that I'm gonna take off. Once treatment goes, the thing to remember is that now I'm in the comfort of my own home. I don't have to be stuck in the clinic on their hours. I'm surrounded by a bunch of other people. I'm gonna be surrounded by my family. So, hope this was insightful and, and educational. And we'll see you in the next video.